Hey everyone, uh, thanks for taking a closer look at GameCube Bot. I'm just going to show you a little bit more about what's going on inside. First, let's say you want to turn it on, just hit the open on the disk drive, and you can actually just turn it on by connecting these two red leads together uh, if you wire them up out here. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, okay, so apart from that, you can actually take the entire chassis off without much of a pain. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. The whole thing is actually magnetically uh, attachable and detachable. So let's actually do that right now. And I'll pull out the chassis. So yeah, this thing comes apart pretty easily. And it'll snap right back on. Cool. Okay, so here's the chassis itself. Uh, so starting with the bottom, we've got two sets of Lego wheels. It's a differential drivetrain. And what that means is we can actually spin in place with our GameCube bot. It's pretty cool when it's actually running around in action. Uh, what's going on here is we have two transmissions that are made from uh, high-tech servo replacement gears. So you can, these gears, uh, they come in packs. They're pretty cheap because they're supposed to be replacing servos. Um, what you can do is we just uh, basically toss them in here and that runs pretty nicely. It's a bit noisy, but it's nothing a little bit of grease can't fix. Okay, so coming in on the sides, uh, you've got uh, a set of uh, Delrin plates. So the just, just plastic called Delrin. The nice thing about it as an alternative to acrylic is that it's actually still uh, laser cuttable. Uh, so you can get some really nice features here and here. Uh, it's still laser cuttable, but um, it's actually a lot more flexible than an acrylic. So it can take a lot more of an impact before it actually breaks. So that's really nice because this little GameCube is probably going to take some a bit of a beating from, who knows, uh, a living room near you. Uh, yeah, so coming up on the top, we've got uh, two sets of airplane brushless motors, and these are actually driving the whole thing together. Combined with the transmission, they actually have, uh, they give the whole GameCube bot a lot of torque, probably more than it needs. That's okay, though. Why not? And so over here, uh, we've got the battery. It fits uh, just about flush with the top, and then you get the little receiver that kind of sticks out on top. I've actually wired the uh, the antenna out around at the side. Uh, if you have a, if you have a new transmitter, odds are pretty pretty likely that you won't have to do that because the new leads are pretty tiny. Um, okay, so we've also got um, the whole thing's kind of uh, packed together with uh, parts from McMaster Car. These are basically just uh, standoffs. And you can just pick up a bunch of those and the whole thing kind of uh, fits together really securely. It feels really good. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I guess you have, uh, I hope you have a really good time building it. I certainly had a fun time making it. So yeah, if you have any trouble, any questions when you build it, uh, just let me know, shoot me an email. And I really hope you enjoy it. See ya.